18 minutes past seven and uh, we reported in the news this morning that test results from the water that's caused widespread diarrhea in the northwest town of Blumhof are expected today. The national government has stepped in to resolve the crisis and Water and Sanitation Minister Nomvula Mokonyane visited the area at the weekend. She's in studio with us to uh, talk more about her visit. Minister, thanks for coming in. It's good to see you on the program. Thanks, Leah. And firstly, I mean, I know that this is a, it's a, a sad story to be talking about, but I think we do need to congratulate you on, uh, on your Thank move you. to a ministerial position. Well done to you. Thank you. You're Thank up you. for this. This is a, challenge, a big challenge. Are you up for it? I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Um, working in partnership with our communities and all other spheres of government, we have to intervene on this particular two priorities. Water is supposed to be about life. Sanitation is supposed to be about the dignity. Yeah. And it is those two primary objectives that one is going to focus on. We can't in 2014 have uh, South African women still collecting water from the river. Um, because in my own inclination of uh, being involved in gender struggles, amongst other things that we always spoke about was uh, doing away with all forms of exploitation, including that of collecting wood, collecting water, carrying it on your head. That does not show freedom to any yeah. any deserving South African yeah. woman in most, the rural areas. Most certainly it isn't, and, uh, and I'm glad you're tackling that issue. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about the business at hand here. Blumhoff, um, uh, cholera is what's, what's thought to be behind um, the deaths of three infants and, and also over 200, or, uh, I imagine more over this weekend, being admitted to hospital. Um, what, was your, what were your views when you visited the area yesterday or over the weekend? For the record, the end, there is no detection of cholera whatsoever. So that ha has not been confirmed? Yes, there's no detection of cholera. The test uh, results will be out today. Mm -hmm. Any other infection that was picked up uh, has been attended to by the Department of Health in the Northwest. And um, they started with an admission of 117 patients. Yesterday, the MEC for Health uh, actually confirmed that uh, the number has gone down to 23. Three infants have passed on and we conveyed our condolences to the families. We've also now looked at what might have happened and uh, already the province of the Northwest uh, has acted on the reliction of duty against the municipal manager. A team will be sitting now at 8 o'clock convened by our Department of Water and Sanitation to put together the capacity because even the appointment of those that are on site in terms of the upgrades in that area has, it has also been found wanting. And it is precisely because of that that we do believe that there is a need for a national intervention in that area, including reflecting on the capacity just of the, of the, of the, of the municipality in the area. Yeah, just in, in terms of uh, the, the, the issues in this particular area have been around for a while. I mean, a lot of the residents there have been promised clean household mm -hmm. water. Uh, it hasn't happened. You turn on the taps, brown water trickles out in that, in that area. And I'm, we're just isolating one area because this happens in a lot of different places. What is being done to, to address this? Liquid time money doesn't have the capacity. And that's exactly what we have arrived at. And hence, uh, us bringing in the city, being a water board to come in, the Department of Water, working together with the Department of Local Government, so that then uh, we do not have uh, the, 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 the half start, half finish kind of work that is happening there, but also create the capacity to put together the early warning uh, systems. We will have to also work with our communities that even in a situation where there's conflict or dissatisfaction, let us dis not destroy our facilities and uh, then contribute to what has uh, caused this particular health hazard. But the baseline is that there's no capacity in the municipality. There is a need for strategic intervention. There's a need for proper project management and the re-engineering of the bulk infrastructure uh, that deals with the uh, sewer and, and, and water in the area. In the whole of the Northwest in yeah. particular, there are challenges. We have seen them over time. And the reflection is on the incapacity of municipalities. All right, let's, let's just um, wrap this up. And, and I do understand that a municipal manager in Blumhof has been fired over this. Is this a message you're sending out? Is this how you're coming into this position? We, we have do to, not perform you out. We, we have to, to make uh, uh, those who are supposed to account to take 
take full responsibility. And they must actually appreciate that our people deserve nothing but better. And hence the action that has been taken against the municipal manager and the intervention that is going to go throughout the unit in the Likwata Mani municipality that deals with these issues, including the selection and the appointment of contractors. All right. Thank you for talking to us. That's the Minister of uh, Water and Sanitation, Nomvula Mukunyana, talking to us about what's happening in Blomhof. Also sending out just so many people that are really, really under pressure when it comes to water and, uh, and also sending out strong messages uh, that if you do not deliver, you are out. This already has uh, been the case with one of the municipal managers in Blumhof has been fired for this, uh, this current situation. I also understand that AFRI Forum doing tests on the water, their results also expected on the 10th of June. Yours are expected this afternoon. We so will we'll have our that. results uh, uh, today. Already the health results have come out to say there's no collapse. No what we're looking at uh, uh, other uh, uh, scientific, it's part of the scientific evidence that must come out. Of importance is to continue to say to our people, let's boil the water, let's make sure that when there are signs of any infection, you present yourself to the clinic, and uh, once more, sincere yeah. condolences to the bereaved families. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Let's quickly.